Monday happy days. Hello, this is Chuck to remind Bill to shut up. Happy days, the weekend comes, my cycle hums. I cried, I cried like a ten-year-old girl. <laughs> oh, the cat out. These happy days are yours and mine. Right, ladies and gentlemen, Henry Winkler. Hi. Oh, such a pleasure to have Thank you here. Thank you for inviting me. Uh, it's great to have you. Of course, we know him best as an Emmy Award winning actor, but also a director, producer, comedian. He's also an author. Got a new book out called Being Henry, The Fonz and Beyond. Uh, and we're just obviously honored to have you here at Fox 8. Thank uh, you. First of all, a happy belated birthday. Thank you so much. Last Monday, yeah, happy birthday. I had a great time. I was traveling on my birthday. But uh, it's turning out pretty well. Good. Well, we want some more birthday surprises to happen for you today, too. Yeah. So we're excited for that. First of all, congratulations on this book. I know you've written, what, 38 children's yes. books? But this memoir is amazing. We both read yeah. it. Most everyone here at the station has read it. It's powerful. It's beautiful. Thank you. You really open up. Right. Talk about those early days when this all happened for you for happy days. So you were an actor. You grew up in New York City. I grew up in New York City in Manhattan. Dreamt about being an actor. Didn't know if that would ever happen. Uh, couldn't get into college. Got into one. Got into the Yale Drama School. I'm still not sure how. <laughs> and then I became a member of the repertory theater there. We did a play in the afternoon, uh, rehearsed it, and did a, a play for the audience at night. Wow. I got $125 a week. For my my dream is on its way. Wow. But I was not completely to get, oh my God, that picture. Yeah, where, where did we, is that, that you? Oh <laughs> Lord, that was, I took that picture. I was uh, living in a rickety house in East Haven. The wind would sail through the wall. <laughs> yeah, I'm not you, I wore every piece of clothing uh, to sleep at night because it was so oh cold in goodness. the winter. Uh, wow. But that was my first headshot. I was thinking of maybe being uh, a, a, an Irish uh, fisherman. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this is, uh, I, oh, this is interesting. I, I should not have done this play. It was Pierre Gint. <laughs> okay. uh, oh, yeah. Too much to memorize. And uh, a lot of the actors at uh, Emerson College said, mm. oh. they're much better than I am. Very fancy. Yeah. You right. should never have gotten that role. <laughs> <laughs> then, of course, my next question is, where are they now? Yeah, Hello. Right, right. right. Okay, but I have, I don't. Oh, there we are. There we are. Yes. Had, but that led you, all that, that acting and stuff like that had led you to decide to get into television. You heard about this audition for Happy Days. Right. I, I went for one month with $1,000 uh, to Hollywood. Uh, my agent at the time, Joan Scott, said, you know, it's going to be very hard to sell you. <laughs> and I thought, that's a 3,000-mile, 1,000-mile, $1,000 mistake. And I'm too jittery to, uh, to go with that. So I went and auditioned for this new series. And I, uh, they called me on my birthday, October 30th, 1973, said, would you like to play the part? And I went, yes, I would. <laughs> wow. How did, what was that process like, the audition? Like, what, what did you go through? Was there a script so reading? When, oh, there's the, the first oh, picture that we wow. ever took together, the wow. four of us. Uh, it was, that was an amazing time. They, and they are all friends. Uh, they're still, uh, Donnie, most who played Ralph, mm -hmm. uh, lives in Boulder. He just moved there to be closer to his daughter and oh. uh, her, uh, her first child. Anson just ran for mayor of Ojai, no lost kidding. by 42 votes. Oh, no. And Ron is in Australia directing a movie. Wow. Yeah. Great to see that classic, iconic photo together. Talk about you open up and it's a whole new world for people to learn this about you, of the struggles that you went through growing up. Right. I didn't know. I didn't know. And uh, when I got married, a, one of the gifts of the marriage was a four-year-old, Jed. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, and, uh, you know, Your I wife was, had already had a, had a yeah. child. Had a child. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I was so crazed about being typecast. I mean, I was really Germanic about it. I pick her up on our first date. The door opens. A four-year-old. <laughs> Hi, Fonz. <laughs> and I said to him, my name is Henry. Would you like it if I called you Ralph? <laughs> You at did. which time he ran away. <laughs> He's now 52 and I haven't seen him since. Oh, no. 
You know, one of the one of the things you talk about Ed, is getting that Fonz role, but also but talking about how you wanted not necessarily to be um, the character, but you wanted to play him with some sort of emotion. You right. talk a lot about emotion, that connection you want with people. You know why? Because you, when you see something on television, no matter what it is, no matter what the language is, you know when you are, are touched. Mm -hmm. And the, the, the idea of uh, entertainment is to illuminate life. Yeah. Uh, you go, oh, I, I understand that. Uh, that. Oh, that helps me. Oh, that makes me feel better. That's our job. It's not to be a star. Well, you certainly were a super, superstar.